Hello everyone and welcome to another Wild Rift Academy guide video. Today we're going to be covering the uh, summoner spells, summoner abilities. Uh, it's going to be a really quick video. We're just going to go over them really quickly and then move on to some more interesting content in our Wild Rift Academy. Alright, first summoner spell is Ghost. Uh, 90 second cooldown, gained a large burst of movement speed that decays to 25% movement speed. Uh, for eight seconds with each takedown ghost's duration is extended by six seconds refreshing its effect up to the original amount that's a really interesting part of that ability is that every time you get a kill ghost duration is increased and it starts over at the large burst of movement speed so pretty cool next we have uh mark and dash now this one only is going to work in the howling abyss as you can see this one works in the wild rift and the howling abyss this is only going to work in the wild, uh, the Howling Abyss, which is, of course, where you play uh, Aram. And then 40 second cooldown, throw a snowball that marks and reveals an enemy for a short duration. Cast again to dash to the marked enemy. Pretty simple. Next we have Heal, Wild Rift, and Howling Abyss. 100 sec 120 second cooldown, restores 80 health, 80 to 360 based on your level, and grants 30% movement speed for one second to you and the most wounded nearby ally, uh, ally champion. Healing is halved for champions recently affected by heal. Then we're on to Clarity. Another Howling Abyss one. Restores 50% maximum mana to you and 25% to nearby allies. That's a pretty cool one if you like to play Aram. Uh, that's a really useful one because mana is an issue in Aram. Next we're on to Barrier. This is again both. 120 second cooldown. Gain a shield that absorbs 115 damage. 115 to 465 at level 15 for two seconds. Next we're on to Exhaust. 105 second cooldown. Exhaust targets at Exhaust target enemy champion, reducing their movement speed by 20% and their damage dealt by 40% for two and a half seconds. So for you guys who did not know, Exhaust does both reduce the movement speed and their damage dealt. So it is very good in a pinch when you're in a pretty dangerous situation and you need to kind of turn the tides either to just get away and to survive or to flip the tables and win the fight. Next we're on to Flash. 150 second cooldown, teleport a short distance forward or towards the aim direction. Now Flash is one of the more commonly, probably the most commonly used ability in the game. And my suggestion is to only use Flash when you're going to guarantee yourself a kill or secure yourself a kill, or you are securing yourself your own life. Um, Flash, for any other purpose, is kind of a waste. So either you're going to not die or you're going to get a kill. Those are the best times to use Flash. Next, we're on to Ignite. 90 second cooldown. Ignite's target enemy dealing 60 to a 410 true damage based on level over 5 seconds and inflicting them with Grievous Wounds. As we've discussed in previous videos, Grievous Wounds is the, uh, the special, uh, I guess, uh ability that you use or that a, a, a negative ability that enemies get um that reduces healing by 50 percent so um you know you're dealing true damage which bypasses armor and magic resistance and you're getting grievous wounds which reduces healing it's a very potent way to finish somebody off you get them really low you can ignite them and walk away and ignite can finish the job last but not least we are talking about smite this is only available in the wild rift map 10 second cooldown deals 440 true damage, 440 to 1000 true damage based on level to a larger epic monster or minion. Smiting monsters restores 70 health, 70 plus 10% of your max health. Slaying four large monsters upgrades smite to chilling smite or challenging smite, which can target enemy champions. So uh, you can do large or epic monsters or minions. So basically anything in the jungle, the Scuttle Crab, Dragon, and Baron, and Rift Herald can all be targeted by Smite originally um, for a lot of true damage, and it does give you some health back. And then Hunting License, permanently earn, this is what you get for choosing it, this is a passive, permanently earn 20% bonus experience from Jungle Monsters, but temporarily earn 20% less gold and XP from Minions. So what that means is, as a jungler who's using Smite, you're going to earn more uh, XP from jungle monsters of all kinds, but if you go for like I think it's the first four to five minutes in the lane when you're in lane killing um, Minions you'll receive 20% less gold and XP This is one of the reasons why it's really hard to jungle without 
Smite because you get 20% less experience from Jungle Monsters. It's a pretty big difference maker. Tooth and Nail. Deal 10% more damage to Jungle Monsters. Monsters you damage burn for 30 magic damage and restore 30 health to you over, four sec over 5 seconds. And you gain one charge of Smite every 45 seconds up to a maximum of 2. Even if you have 2 um, charges of Smite available to you, there's still a 10 second cooldown. Just so you guys are aware. But that is how smite works and that is all of the summoner spells for league of legends wild rift uh, so that is going to be the end of this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was helpful to you check out the rest of our wild rift academy guide videos we've put out videos covering physical damage magic damage defense boots runes now this one we've covered all the foundational pieces we're going to be moving on to laning phase farming securing objectives dragons barons what they do all that kind of stuff we're gonna literally cover all of the foundational pieces of the game so that we get you guys as much information and knowledge as we can to help you guys become better then we're gonna be moving on to more interesting things like top five videos top five junglers top five mages etc and then we're moving on to things like builds and stuff like that if you guys have any ideas for future videos that you would like to see please leave a comment below and let us know we'll be sure to take a look at those and definitely take them into consideration. We're always looking for more ideas for more videos. Guys, thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.